Well, what's different about studying ceramics at Cranbrook, I would think, for one, you have the, the, the community, which is um, a community of makers, a community of um, committed um, makers that are collaborating with one another within, within the studio together. In many ways, the, the program is shaped by the students. We've had students from dance who come, who do live performances within the, the world of clay and ceramics to someone who's working in product design. And those two students then influence one another and help um, shape a, a larger dialogue within a department. We're trying to follow many different processes to uncover what's, what's best for each individual student. That's another key factor. It has to do with the, with the close-knit, tight community of, of students and makers and mentors and visitors. All of those things um, really allow students to, to um, to take really big leaps, I've noticed, to, um, to seeing different working methodologies, students coming from different backgrounds. I think it's all um, one of the, the a strong aspect of studying at Cranbrook. And we, again, don't have an undergraduate program. So for the students, they have um, very open access to materials, kilns, um, and all sorts of other tools. Um, in, in, and also in other departments. So that, that idea is that they can, I notice that students don't just have a, you know, one critique and they make a, a body of work in a, in, a, in a particular term and then they may make two or three bodies of work in a, in a particular term. And because of that, they're learning so much from, and I'm learning so much from it as well, I'm learning so much and they're learning so much within those um, iterations of critique that they're able to make some really big leaps in, short, in a short period of time.